Welcome back. Now, in the animal world, speed counts, and no one is faster than the cheetah. But why? How are they designed differently to other animals that makes them so fast? Well, finally, scientists have come up with an answer, an explanation for nature's swiftest predator. Well, with me in the studio is our health and science correspondent, Helen Briggs. And, Helen, even for a klutz like me, uh, trying to make sense of this, when I read this theory, it did make total sense. Just explain what these scientists have concluded. It, it does, doesn't it? And cheetahs are absolutely incredible, 70 miles per hour, so they're bred to, to run and to catch prey. But the key thing is they're sort of medium-sized. And why should that matter? Well, obviously, if you're very small, then you're going to find it hard to be fast. But you would think if you're very large, you should be able to run very quickly. You've got big muscles, etc. Um, but that's not the case. And that's because it's all to do with getting off the starting blocks really quickly. So if you're very big, you run out of fuel before you can reach what would be your maximum theoretical speed, where if you're in the middle, like a cheetah, um, then you will reach as fast as you can go. So that's why it can outrun many other things. So those muscles that are driving the speed, basically, they just run out of fuel. Yeah. So, so that's why some of those bigger animals just can't get up to the speeds perhaps you would expect. Yeah, because when you're doing that acceleration, it's anaerobic respiration and there's only a limited amount of fuel for the muscles. So um, it will literally, if you're very, very big, you just can't get up to that speed. And it's the same, actually, This you find this on um, in the water as well. So marlins, again, medium-sized fish, incredibly fast. If you put them in a swimming pool with an Olympic athlete, they would just vastly outpace an Olympic athlete. So it's not just these beasts. Uh, I mean, they looked at so many different animals, I think it's 400 plus, mm -hmm. isn't it? And they've come to the same conclusion, whether it's in the skies, in the waters, on the land with these cheetahs. And also, I thought this was fascinating, mm. they've looked at uh, species that have, are now extinct and, and think they've been able to work out maximum speeds for them. That's right. So if you know the body mass and you know roughly how the animal moved, you can work it out. So you can take some of our favourite dinosaurs from something like Jurassic Park, the Velociraptor, and um, that's the one with the huge claws on its back legs. And, I mean, that would, you know, be able to run along the fast lane of a motorway at 55 miles per hour. Then if you take some something like Triceratops that had the big horns on its nose. That was the size of a truck and it was um, rather slow. So again, that would be definitely in the slow lane of dinosaurs. So look, explain this to me. I mean, cheetahs, you've explained that. Humans, medium size, but it doesn't quite fit. So, so why the anomaly? Yeah, well, it, we should be, as a medium sized creature, we should be as fast as a cheetah really, <laughs> but obviously we're not. That's because we've evolved to eat not this specialised hunting behaviour and diet. We're bipedal, so we've made loads of trade-offs. So um, we're rather slow and have obviously could be beaten by a lion or cheetah. And briefly, finally, what, what do they hope these scientists to be able to do now they've discovered this theory? Well, movement is one of the key processes of life, so we can understand much more about these amazing elite animals like cheetahs, which are these great predators that can run after prey. We can find out more about um, how they've evolved and how they move and, and how they're so successful at, at running. Well, Helen, absolutely fascinating. Thanks very much for coming in and explaining that all to us. Uh, we're back in just a moment, uh, but uh, with one more story before we go, I'm uh, head of the game, uh, Game of Thrones. Their fans have been rewarded after more than a year of waiting with the premiere of the show's penultimate season. Series 7 will take viewers back to a fictional violent world. Much of its popularity is down to its iconic props and costumes. Well, Shilpa Kanan has travelled to northern India to find out about companies that are capitalising on all of that.